Okay, so today I'm going to do a bit of a different video for you guys. Instead of the bird video that I have planned, which was going to be about eBird's big day, and that is today, and I'm still doing that, I just got a bit frustrated because I wasn't seeing anything. And so I've come to this pond. So behind me is the Orange Tree Pub in Tottish, Totteridge even. That is shut at the moment because of the uh, virus. But it does mean that it gives me the opportunity to have a look at this uh, uh, pond behind me. So normally there'd be tons of people on a day like today and today there's, uh, there's a few people around but it's much easier for me to have a look at stuff. So I'm going to have a look mainly at the dragonflies and damselflies such as uh, and but there's also some other stuff here such as massive carp in this pond. It's not very big but there's tons of carp in here and also um, some probable raft spiders. So Stay tuned, this one's going to be more video, uh, sorry, photo based than video based, but keep an eye out for uh, what's coming next. Uh, effectively, I've been here for the last, you know, let's say 30 minutes, maybe a bit longer, having a look at what's in this pond, and I reckon I've got about five species of damsel five, four maybe, I think, one species of dragonfly, which some of you will know already what that is after I posted about it yesterday. And also, yeah, the raft spiders and the fish. So, yeah, apart from that, I'm also going to check one other pond. There's also stuff like water boatmen and stuff like that, but I'll keep that for another video. Oh, is that the chaser? No, that's... There's an emperor dragonfly down there, but it's not the chaser. There's a chaser about as well, but I haven't been able to, excuse the pun, chase it down and try and ID it yet. But anyway. Yeah, so that's going to be today's video. Hope you enjoy it and uh, stay safe. So today's video is going to be mainly full of photos. Uh, so let's start off with uh, the red, large red damselfly, which are the ones you can see on your screen now. So the large red damselfly is a common species. It's one of the first damselflies to emerge at this time of year. And they can be found pretty much all across the UK. Now it's quite interesting. These are a pair of them mating. Just have a look at this. So this is, uh, the female is the one below. And she, at the beginning of the video, was of oviopating, basically laying eggs. I haven't said that properly. But the male is on top and during the mating process, they uh, attach to one another until it's finished. Here you can see an interloper, <laughs> another male trying to get inroads onto the female. So there were three of them in that one, but the, the uh, male on top eventually flew away. Here, I believe this final one actually shows uh, two teneral large red damselflies. So by that, I mean, they have just emerged. So a teneral damselfly is the form the damselfly takes when they first appear uh, from, well, emerge from the water. And you can actually see the casing of the damselfly here, just on the edge of this one's, or of the sort of branch that these two are sitting on. I'll show you some more examples of the casings that I found. Uh, actually, now, let's have a look. So these casings are actually quite incredible because the larva or the larval form that the casings have come from spends two to three years underwater uh, before actually emerging as a damselfly or a dragonfly, which is pretty incredible. So they spend two to three years rummaging around at the bottom in that sort of shape and form, eating stuff like tadpoles and also small fish, other invertebrates, stuff like that. They're predatory uh, species. Next up, this is a female azure blue damselfly. So azure blues are very common uh, widespread damselfly, and they're very, very similar to the common blue damselfly that we also get in the UK. They're very hard to tell the difference between, but azure blues have thinner stripes on the body, and they also have a black marking at the tip of their tail, and also a sort of jagged, I guess you could call it abdomen part, uh, rather than a, a straight one which the common blues have. It's not very easy to describe when you don't actually have a photo of a common blue to hand, since I managed to only take photos of azure blues yesterday. So next is a blue-tailed damselfly, and there's not much of an introduction that I need to give for this one. So the blue-tailed damselfly has a blue tail, and here you can see the mouth parts of the damselfly. So Damselflies and dragonflies are both predatory insects, they eat other insects. So damselflies mainly eat smaller soft bodies insects whereas dragonflies can actually take quite large insects such as houseflies stuff like that and even damselflies in some instances 
brings me finally on to the Emperor Dragonfly, which is a large dragonfly, and in fact Britain's bulkiest dragonfly. And they fly pretty much throughout the summer from around now all the way through to probably August, September time. Although now, uh, now and June is their peak time to fly. And um, these dragonflies are very easy to identify and they're identifiable by the blue body and the black line along the back. And that is a male. Females are harder to identify but don't have a photo to hand so we'll leave that for now. Okay, so I didn't manage to refine the chaser which is a shame. But I'm going to head now to a different pond to try and show you hopefully some more damselflies and dragonflies. This one isn't as set up as that one is because I haven't been to check it yet today. Yesterday there were tons and tons of large red damselflies um, and some mallard ducklings uh, which is always a bonus um, and more hen uh, chicks as well actually right now that I think about it but yeah we haven't I haven't been there yet today so we'll it's going to be as much of a surprise for me as it is for you. But yeah, as you can see, it is very hard to ID common blue and azure blue damselflies. And actually, there's another species that I haven't talked about yet called a variable damselfly, which is also very similar to them. Um, I'm not going to get into that into too much detail, but all you need to know in this area, the area that I'm in, is that uh, variable damselflies are quite rare as far as I'm concerned. It might just be that I just don't have the expertise yet to identify them, but we will see. Um, yeah, so uh, large red damselflies actually in this area are a relatively new thing, but it's probably just because this area is very under-recorded. Uh, and also, azure blues also could be a new species for the area, which is a bit odd. But that's just because I can't remember if I've had any last summer or not. I need to check my photos for that. But yeah, let's go and see what this pond holds, and uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm now at Laurel Farm Pond, and as you can probably hear and have seen in the videos already, there's not an awful lot here apart from the mallards and the Canada geese, and obviously their ducklings as well. There is one emperor dragonfly around as well, just over here, and uh, there's also a few uh, large red damselflies. This pond was pretty much uh, was completely drained last year so it's actually good to see uh, some wildlife returning to the pond however it is obviously unfortunately less than there would have been had they not touched the pond beforehand I say they doesn't really matter but there's also some more hen ducklings hold on which way that way there there's one which is quite cool and yes apart from that also some mallards they seem to be coming over here as well mallards are there but yeah, apart from that, I think we're going to call it an end to the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the photos and also the little video clips as well. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Safe, safe. And I uh, hope you enjoy this lovely weather we're having. So I'm now going to leave you with a, just a small snippet of cuteness from the ponds, which includes ducklings, goslings and more hen chicks. Enjoy and stay safe. See you guys on Wednesday.